Hey guys, this is BEP 2009 Jet. Um, tonight I'm here with this episode. I'm making a video for you guys to to educate you on installing car mods and textures for any vehicle, but solely for the purpose of um, police and emergency vehicles because that's what my video is about. I will also most likely do a siren. Um, we'll just open up this folder. Um, Today we'll be installing a Ford um, Taurus, Taurus, however you would wish to pronounce it. Um, they, I first thing I'd like to say is you need Spark IV. I will put a link for that in the description. Uh, if you um, have administrator privileges, then you, I want you to right click on it and run it as an administrator. If not, see if you can borrow it from someone and you know I don't know it's you I used to run it without administrator privileges so you can do it but um you know that's that they suggest administrator um, once it's open uh, select browse you then scroll down to your car but sorry you scroll down to models once you're in models, you select CDI images. Now you've got to make sure it's CDI images and not textures. Then you select vehicles.img. Now this will load all of the vehicles that you want. Now we're going to be replacing police, just the original police car. And oops, sorry, I went past it. Um, police WTD. Now, first thing you should do before, I should have actually done this before I started filming, um, okay, see, it's stuck, it's put on FBI, if I were to select, um, if I were to select the, um, that file, even though I chose police, it would still make it FBI and not change my police file, trust me, when I first started doing this, it was the worst thing ever. It was a pain. Um, so now you click, you select Police WTD or WFT, whichever one. Um, I normally have a folder for all my files. I just download, sorry, I downloaded all my textures, the siren and the car, just for this demonstration purpose from GTA Police Mods. You can find that easily by typing it into the you know, into Google, not into the Google, I sound like an old person, um, but I will put the link in the description for people that are having difficulty finding that now. Um, where's this video? This video, this folder. Okay, Ford Taurus. Okay, so I said WTD, so you find your WTD file, make sure it's got the same name, and if you look, now it's blue, and the rest are black. So when it's blue, it's been changed. So now you check your WFT. Go back. It'll open immediately. It'll just open the same file, file, folder or file, depends what you want to call it, and select Police WFT. Now once you've done that, I click Save, then Rebuild. It takes a little bit because it's got to rebuild the archive and then I save it again just to be safe. Um, now that I've done this, I will in fact go into police again. Now you've got to find, your WTD is your texture one. So this is the one that you choose to edit textures. So you can click edit on WTD, but when it's on WFT, it's blanked out. You can only view it and that will show like your net um, what is it, like, sort of the base of the car. I shouldn't have chosen that, because now it's not responding. Okay, here we go. Um, the frag type. You can get the solid and the, and then you can see the wire frame. Um, no, it's not going to do this for me. You, anyway, once you have Spark IV, you can look at it all yourself. So, you choose the WTD file to and click edit, so you're editing the texture. Now, they are called different things, like, um, 
you go down and you find, see, police sign 2, there's police sign 1, police sign 4, and police sign 3. Um, there's only normally 4 um, files. So that's normally all you have to select. Now I, I don't know where it is. That's one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, well I'm going to do one first. Now you you select police sign one, or it may be called just paint job. If there's one, depends on what they're called. You go into your folder with your textures, and you select the text of the texture texture that you want. So I'm in this case I'm choosing the CH you know California Highway Patrol um, texture. So you do this for each and every um, why does it do that? You do this for every um, police texture. So I've done police sign one now I just did police sign 2, police sign 3, import texture, chp again, and where's police sign 4, it's there. Now just um, let it load, like let it flick over, and last but not least, the other one. Now this is the easiest part of the textures. Oh, great, not responding. Okay, hang on. Um, and you just click save and close. It's as simple as that. You've just changed the textures on the car. Now you click save, same as you did when the uh, whoops, same as you did with the model was there. Save, rebuild, save. Now you can close that. And this is where I've got to remember if I can do this or not. Um, okay, so, for sirens, we have a siren, that's also on Grand Theft, um, Grand Theft Auto GTA Police Mods. Um, everything can be found on there, you've just got to get through the categories, it's really quite easy to find your way around. So, you get into, um, you scroll through, you find PC, Audio, SFX, now, where is it? It is, I believe it's resident. There we go. Resident.rpf. You open that. File you read only. Would you like to make it writable? Yes, you would like to make it writable. Just never said that to me. So you select resident and horns IVAUD. So once you select that, you click import. You go to the folder where, where I didn't download that siren. I did download that siren, but I didn't, what I didn't do, was put it in that folder, and I would like to apologise for that, and I hope you guys could um, forgive me, and I shall open this, extract it into that folder, Okay, and there it is, it's Horns IVAUD. They were always named the same, there is no switching, it's always the one Horns file, because it's always the one Horn for one, for the car. It won't do a siren unless it's an emergency vehicle. So you click open once that's selected, and you click save. The, archi the archive has been saved, close it, save, it's been saved, close that, and you're done. You are you just install a new car, a new skin, and a new siren. You, you're in. Okay, so if you you can do that to all your cars, and you can have a game that looks extremely realistic. Anyway, that's the end of my video, guys. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, go through and check them out. I need all the support I can get. Um, if you like it, rate, you know, like, comment, um, favorite it if you like it, um, and. That's the end of my video. Thanks, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Oh, um, guys, before I go, ELS, um, emergency lighting system. I'll go back into this folder. I'll tell the truth. I did forget this, and I'm editing this back in now. Um, ELS V6.
This is what it comes with. Um, so it's as easy as you select all of these. And actually, I don't know what's in that. Okay, yep. So you just get all of ELS, open the folder, copy it into your main directory, which is, um, where is it? Program, it's program files, Rockstar Games, um, G Grand Theft Auto 4, and then it's just in there. That's, that's the main. So you just copy it into there, and I override it. And then um, do this for the next one conflict. Copy and replace. This data nation already contains a folder, and I want you to. Um, no, I don't want to merge it, but if you have any for. Yes. Okay, so that's done. ELS is now done. And my next video will be of, it'll be really short, it'll just be the Taurus. Okay, guys, now I'm going. Thanks for watching, and have a good rest of the day now. Okay, bye.